guys, it's Mariana. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I want to be talking about something really big that is coming up in a few weeks on June 24th. And that's going to be my 20th birthday. And I'll get right into the story about that. So I can't believe it. And just about in another week or two weeks or so, however you want to put it that way, Yes, it is. It is crazy. I am going to turn 20 years old this year on Monday, June 24th. And I'm trying to think of what what crazy ideas should I do on my birthday? I mean, me and Kyle are are talking about, I mean, he's, he's thinking about getting me a, a cake for me, but I already told him that I was going to do a recipe on, on making my own cake and it's 100% vegan and I actually got it from Brie Bella when she was doing her her daughter's first birthday cake, Birdie, and I actually wrote down the recipe that I'm going to be showing you and I'll bring it out in just one second. Okay, so here is the recipe that I wrote down from Chef Breeze's YouTube channel on the Bella Twins. And it's a fudgy chocolate beet cake with avocado frosting. It is, this is really super good for you. Like I had made like little mini cupcakes for these for my, for my graduation party slash birthday party. And yes, it's crazy. I know it was on the same day on that day. So what I use for the recipes on there, like, I didn't use, like, fresh beets or anything like that. I I was kind of in a hurry, so I had to use um, canned beets for it. But it's still beets, and I know it said, like, a pinch of salt in it, but in the can it did said that it had salt in it, so I was fine with that. But this year, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to use fresh beets that are not in a can and I, I bet they're gonna love it and I, I hope that my boyfriend will might love it too and he he even told me that he never tried a chocolate beet cake before in his life and I have and it is really freaking delicious and healthy for you and you don't have to get like those artificial ones like you buy at Walmart like I know I work I work at Walmart myself and when I tried the cakes over there, it's kind of good, but the frosting has like a like a bitter aftertaste of it. Like, like it kind of makes me want to throw up or something like that because it didn't taste so good when when I try it. it yeah, it did kind of make me feel a little bit sick. And the one that that we live a little bit near on Wegmans, they have like the best cakes over there. And I love the frosting over there. It's nice and light, and it's not that heavy, and it's really good. And and he did say that he he was thinking about buying me a birthday cake over there on on that day. And I'm really curious of what what cake they that he's giving me. I don't know what kind of theme it is. And he's I I don't know what kind of I don't even know if he's going to be planning a surprise for me, like a special kind of gift. What do you think? What kind of gift that he might give me on, on that day? Please let me know in the comments below and and I'll see. And all right, let's get moving on. So I did thought about some other crazy ideas that I can, that I really want to do on my birthday. And lucky for me, I was a little bit scared when I was trying to check for my schedules if I if I work on that day and when me and my boyfriend were were looking at my work schedule I was like I can't look I can't look baby cute please tell me what it says and he told me that open your eyes take a look and I was like oh my god I don't have to work on I don't have to work on my birthday it was crazy I was excited when I first found out that I don't have to work on the biggest day of my life and that is like, I think that's one of God's gift for me to do that. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I love Walmart, but I don't like working there that much because 
it is a bit too big for me and what I mostly hate about working over there is doing the reshops and here's why I have to tell you why. So I hate doing the reshops over there is because well I work in apparel and every time that we try to do like reshops if you don't know what reshops is it's like putting everything back the way it, they are like putting them in the right spot and the right prices and I mostly hate doing that because we mostly have like a pile of clothes on the cart and we have to scan them, check, and see what aisle they're back on. And I just hate cleaning up the messes. And it's it's not just that. I even have to clean up the tables, the shelves, everything that the customers make like a big mess over there. Like I hate how, how people make a mess of their own and... They don't even have the courage to clean it up in their cells that us employees have to do it too. And for those of you who work at Walmart and understands how what I'm saying, I, I really feel bad how you have to clean up the customers' mess because I have to go through the same thing and I fucking hate it so much. And let's just get back at the planning of my birthday. So one of my thoughts that I was thinking about doing for my 20th birthday is I was thinking about getting my hair dyed with highlights like special kind of blonde highlights about I I did dye my hair before and it was all it was all red like first I had red highlights in my hair and I was like oh my god I love it so much this was like the back back of time when I was like either 14 or 15 years old and I loved it back then. I mean, at first I did it July when I first dyed my hair. I mean, I had professionals done doing that and after with that all faded away, the red started to get a bit more blonder and and I started to think, "Oh my god, I love this color." And after a few years later, I had my I had my hair dyed again and this time it was all fully red. I wanted to look like Eva Marie from WWE. It was freaking amazing and I loved it. But we all know how red hair fades much more quicker and I should have got my hair done in a different color to make it much more lighter, but I just love red the most. So that's our so that's a one of the ideas that I really want to do for my birthday is to dye my hair, but not red. I was thinking about blonde highlights. And what color do you think I should do for my hair? Please let me know in the comments. So the next thing I was thinking about doing for my birthday is um, I I do want to go to a fancy restaurant with Kyle. And the, the fanciest restaurant that I can ever think of that when I, I mean, I live in Geneva and the fanciest restaurant downtown at, at Geneva is at the Bay Bellas and I never been into that restaurant before and I heard that their food is really fancy and and his mom actually and and my boyfriend's mom actually went in there and tried the food herself and she tried one of the fried rice balls and she said that they're really delicious and she told me the to, to go over there and check it out myself and and try the food over there and I think I'm gonna be yeah I'm, I'm thinking about going to do that for my birthday trying Bella's fancy food and see how I how I think of their tastes so another thing oh my god I didn't even think about this I just had it in my head like what I really want to do for my birthday is I know I've reached over 200 subscribers already. I just want to thank you guys so much. And I'm thinking about answering your guys' questions. Like any comments or any suggestions or anything that you want me to do next on my next videos. I want to hear from you guys. I mean, what questions do you have for me? Please let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll, I'll check them on my birthday. And yeah, I, I actually want to hear how you guys think of my channel. And... What, what should I do for my birthday? And let me know what kind of questions you have for me. Like, like what's my favorite music? Or what me and Kyle did something romantic together. I, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know. Please let me a question in the comments below. And I'll answer them for you. Alright guys. So that 
So I think that will be it for my video and I hope you enjoy it and I'm really excited for turning 20 in, in like another week and please let me know in the comments what, what else should I do for my video and I just want to thank you guys for subscribing, liking this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more like this and I'll see you all next time.